Good morning, everyone. Picking up right where we left off in the last vlog. It is Tuesday. Just got home yesterday for my sister's batch trip. Came home to a snowy winter wonderland. And if you didn't watch the last vlog, yes, my voice is kind of gone from this weekend. So, but I'm just doing a quick little get ready. We have to do the podcast. I want to unpack, just like get my life together. I have to get today's vlog up. I have to work out. We're experimenting with getting a few little short form content clips for the podcast. So that's why I'm getting a little bit ready because I'm gonna do some filming while we're recording We filmed a little bit last time too. I just obviously went away So I haven't had a chance to like edit that together and try to make some content out of it So I don't know how it's gonna turn out But it's an experiment for the new year to you know try out some new stuff for the pod try to reach more audience and grow it Etc. So I also need to update you guys on this book that I'm reading the after series by Anna Todd Apparently it was originally a one direction fan fiction, but it's about like a college life and this girl goes off to college and she's like kind of goody two shoes but now she's like getting in with a different crowd and now she's like getting involved with this like tatted british guy and it's got some spicy scenes like i was reading it on the plane and you know you're like oh my god i hope the person next to me is not screen looking because i'm gonna look like a crazy person when i was reading a spicy scene i'm like if she looks over and reads this, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. I'm like putting my brightness down, like tilting it away from her. But so far it's so good and so spicy. It's a 600 page book. It's gonna be the biggest book I've ever read, but I think I'm gonna fly through it. I'm only on page like 112, I think. So I'm like literally just under 20% done with the book. But so far I like don't wanna put it down. It's such an easy, good read, but like keeps you intrigued. And I feel like I can picture everything and there's movies. There's like five books and I think there's like five movies. So I'm like so excited to get through it and then watch the movies. I I know it won't be as good people always say like the book was better and i never understood that until i started reading and now i'm like oh i get it like the book has so much more detail because when they're describing like say like the spicy scenes right you're like you're getting every little detail verse then you're just watching it and it happens so much quicker and the book like it's so much more drawn out because it's words so i understand anywho point is i'm really loving it like i'm looking forward to reading it tonight when i'm like done with my work day but yeah I'm feeling really good after this weekend. I feel like we had fun. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to get back in my routine. I feel grateful for home. You know, when you go away, you're just like, I just love home. I missed the cats so much too. I came home and I just laid on the hallway floor and I was just like petting them and hanging out with them. I'm like, I love you. I love my cats. And we were only gone for like a Friday to a Monday. It felt like two weeks. One of the days I was like, that was this morning. It was like forever. I feel like a weekend trip can sometimes feel longer than like a whole week. <laughs> Cause you jam pack so much into such a short weekend, you know? Anyways, let's get this day going. Might as well put my makeup away while I'm here. One thing done. I do need to get my nails done too. I am over the three week mark and they are grown out and I wanna go back to a little bit of a darker color too. I got a few hours before the podcast so I really like to make some major progress on today's vlog so that I'm not editing later or later at night and we can have a chill night. So I think I'm gonna get on my walking pad, do a light little walk while I edit today's vlog. I think it's gonna be an easy edit in my head so so, I think we'll be good. Hi, Buck! My baby! Hi! Let me see. Oh, everyone missed you so much. Say hi. You can't even see. <laughs> I can't even see you because I'm wearing a black sweatshirt. Hi! Wanna go up here? Look at all the snow. They're probably so happy to be back in here. I didn't let them in my office or my closet while I was gone because I just don't want them breaking my expensive stuff, you know? or like scratching at my clothes, you know? So they're probably happy to be back in here. How cute are you, Bench? You're looking out at the snow. <laughs> so cute. Hi. What? It's poppin' everybody. Welcome back to a girl and her mother-in-law. What is your mini goal, something you're looking forward to this week, Geraldine? Uh, how about for today? Okay. All right. Vlog is up. Zan and I are about to make some dinner. I'm hungry. Domesticated king. Absolutely. <laughs> this is what we're going to try tonight. We got this at Costco and had it in the freezer, so we defrosted it. Is it defrosted, by the way? Yeah. Okay. This just caught our eye and we were excited to try it. So when I went to take out meat today for dinner, I was like, oh, perfect. 
So we're gonna do this. I have some carrots that I'm gonna peel and roast in the oven. So I gotta get that going now. And then we'll probably do some potatoes. So I'm excited. I see what you mean, by the way, babe. You make it in the skillet and then you toss it with some barbecue sauce. Yeah. Okay. I just wanna try a piece without sauce first. Yeah, sure. And see, cause it says it has like brown sugar and stuff. So I don't see how it wouldn't be flavorful, you know? Okay, um, these carrots are from Christmas, but they're still good. <laughs> still hard, they're not soft, they're not moldy. I'm gonna peel them up and use them. Before we add barbecue sauce to it, I just want to give it a little taste and see how it is on its own. But I don't want to burn myself. Wow. Have you tried it? Do you want to See if you want sauce on it? Sure. It looks good. Yeah. It's, it's good. Thanks, baby. Oh, thank you. Why, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Can you toss just a little bit? These are really good. Right? Nice and salty. Uh-huh. Wow. We're gonna do honey barbecue sauce. Mmm. Perfect. That's a lot of carrots. I didn't realize I made that many. Yum. A little barbecue sauce on the side to dip the carrots and the fries in. This looks amazing. I'm excited. And look what Zane just did. He put together my french fry cutter. Look at it. Oh my god, I can't wait to use it. Mmm. I'll buy this again for sure. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. That was super easy too. Mm -hmm. So good. We're going to watch a new episode of Found. Have two come out now? I don't know. How many do we have? Just one? We were going to wait to add them up, but I'm like so excited. There's only one. How is there only one? They took a break for the holidays, that's why. You wanna wait? If you can wait one day, tomorrow there's gonna be another one come out. Cause tomorrow's Wednesday. And what are we gonna we have our other show to watch. What show? With the British people. Oh Not yeah, I forgot about that one. What's that on, Netflix? Yeah. I forgot about that. I wanna watch the Gypsy Rose documentary too. I've been wanting to see how that one finished. What? I was like kind of feeling to watch it when you were gone. Oh, wait, how many episodes do you have left? I think only two. Two, right? Oh, okay. What is that? Huh? Last Chance, Once Upon a Time, One Last Spot. Something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Fool me once. Yeah. Okay, we'll watch that instead. But it's really good. It is. It's a good show. It's a little anxiety inducing, but I feel like that's the point. Did you take a picture of this, by the way? Yeah. Can you send me it? Yeah. I gotta add this to my home, like, meals gallery meals so I know. that you like. So I don't forget that we make this. Did you it's try? really good. Did you try anything else? The carrots. Pretty good, right? It's really good. Uh-huh. I'm a carrot hater. You are a carrot hater. And I think I did pretty good. Super good. Oh, good. I'm glad. I feel like they didn't take that long. Like 25. I left them in probably for like 30 minutes by the time I let them keep going in there. Mm. So like 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we only have two episodes of this left. Okay. Let's get her done. Get her done. Bowl? Right now? I don't know if you are. Oh yeah, we left on a cliffhanger. Hello. <laughs> wow. Beanhead ass. We finished Fool Me Once on Netflix. You guys, the last two episodes of that show were so good it was such a good show it's pretty late now but i'm like you know what i'm not that tired because i guess i want a different schedule from just going to miami and being up late so i still want to get my workout in i prioritized other things this morning i should have done it this morning but i'm gonna get my workout in and then i'm gonna sleep with my hair oils in too can you tell that i'm still debating it in my head now we're just gonna get up and go do it should i <laughs> i did walk for an hour today maybe i'll just do it on thursday instead I'm tired. Am I gonna regret not doing it? What do I wanna do? <gasps> okay, we moved it. Cause we just didn't get to it today. And that's okay. That was like five stages of grief that you guys just came along on with me. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my workout in. And I was like, do I really wanna do that right now? Oh my God, I just came into my closet room and forgot that I need to unpack too. <laughs> yeah, we need sleep. It is Tuesday. I washed my hair on Thursday before we left for the trip. So it is just lovely. I'm gonna set up my Kindle while I do my oiling because I've really been wanting to read this book. I like keep wanting to pick it up. Where is my stand? Oh, all the way over there. <laughs> That's so upsetting. Hi. 
Hi. Alright, we're gonna do a 10 minute massage with the bamboo brush. It's honestly not horrible for being that dirty. I put dry shampoo in it earlier today. Like, it's not bad. <sighs> You know what? You guys are gonna laugh at me. I think I'm just gonna oil it in the morning instead of being uncomfortable and having to sleep in it because I don't really want to leave it in for overnight anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Wow, holy indecisive. Goodbye, I'm gonna stop vlogging now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Got in a nice workout, oiled the hair, had a nice shower. I put some salt tanner on my hands. I had to exfoliate the tanner off the hands. So that will develop in a few hours and we'll match. We're gonna have a glow up here today too. I'm going into the city tonight, although it is going to be like 20 degrees. Probably feels like even colder with the wind chill. So it's gonna be really cold. So I need to bundle up. But we're gonna glow up for that in a little bit. But first I have some like computer work stuff to do and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm about to have me some Factor. So thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard me talk about Factor yet, Zane and I love it. These are fresh, never frozen meals. They are chef prepared and they are dietitian approved. They come delivered in a box right to your door. All you have to do is pop some holes with a fork and microwave them for two minutes and it seriously tastes like you just made it fresh. Everything is so good. Today I'm gonna have this grilled chicken one that I've had a few times before and their pieces of chicken, you would never guess that it was pre-cooked and just heated up. It is so moist, it is so fresh. Everything is so flavorful. And Zane and I always say we just feel so good after eating a factor meal. I love that the deliveries are so flexible as well. You can get four to 18 meals per week and things get hectic. So if you need to skip a week, change your deliveries, reschedule. It is so easy to do that. It is 2024. We don't have time to stress over our meals and what we're going to be eating. So save yourself so much hassle. No food shopping, no cooking, no prepping, no cleaning. There's over 35 meals to choose from every single week. So there's something for everybody, whether you want keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart. Someone I personally like, they're all around 500 calories or less. So they just make it so easy to stick with whatever goals you might have. And fun fact, Factor is actually owned by HelloFresh. I love both. Sometimes I want to cook. Sometimes I want to be a little lazy and I'm in a rush and I got too much going on. So if you guys want to try it out, I definitely recommend that you do. They don't only have meals. They also have a ton of add-ons like smoothies, juices, wellness shots. This is my first time getting these. I cannot wait to try them. So you guys can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code Alyssa50 to get 50% off of your first factor box and get free wellness shots for life. You will get two free wellness shots from three available flavors in every order while you're an active subscriber. Again, you can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code Alyssa50 for 50% off of your first factor box and free wellness shots for life. Now I'm gonna get this going in the microwave because your girl is hungry and we got things to do. So nice and warm, it is freezing today. Are you joining me for lunch? Like, look at this chicken, it just like shredded apart. It is so moist, so good. Go try it. Okay, we are getting ready for the night. I just did a little bit of computer editing, but I kind of ran out of time today. It went so fast. I wanted to edit two like short form videos, but I was rushing and I was like, let me actually get ready because we don't need to miss the train today. So I'm putting on some makeup. My friend friend invited me to go see it's called Days of Wine and Roses the Musical. It's a limited time run. It's on Broadway. To be honest, I like briefly skimmed the description. I was just like, sure. I just love Broadway shows. So I was like, I don't really care. I'll go. And an excuse to go out to dinner and see a friend. So I made us dinner reservations at a place called Rosevale Kitchen and Cocktail. 
it's in the theater district so i just went on tiktok you know <laughs> it's my search engine and found a restaurant around there and we're gonna do they have like a fixed menu it's like 52 dollars a person you get an appetizer a meal a dessert and it looks like a really nice place and it's pretty close to our theater so that's where we're gonna go for dinner so i am gonna meet her in the city she works in the city so i'm just gonna train in i just did a dyson air wrap blowout on my hair oh i hadn't washed it since before i left on my trip and it really needed it so it feels amazing amazing to have fresh hair i am a little bit nervous though about bundling up it's going to be really really cold let's look at the weather what does it say so it's 24 degrees right now but the feels like because of the wind is 12 degrees fahrenheit yep and we're going at nighttime so it's going to get down to low 20s so it's probably going to feel like 10 degrees later so i need to layer layer up because i do not like being cold and yes my voice is still gone from this weekend i'm not mad about it though i always am jealous of girls that have like a raspy sexy voice i'm like i wouldn't be mad if my voice stayed like this <laughs> but yeah it's still gone so that's why i sound like this if you didn't watch the bachelorette trip vlog you should i was just editing the short form video i think i'm gonna do like a little like here's where i went in miami like little itinerary try to make it like informational because i took a bunch of little clips on my phone so if you didn't see that it's on probably other platforms because i'm sure it's gonna be long i am so excited to read my book on the train right now i'm gonna bring my kindle and we're gonna read on the train and can i just give you a little update about how happy i am that i'm growing out my natural hair color like this is one of the best decisions i've made for myself to be honest you can still see like the warm tones i feel like my natural hair color is a little bit more like ashy and my color that i had it dyed you can tell it's like way more warm toned so as it grows out i just feel like it suits me so well like duh it's my natural hair color and i'm just so excited that <laughs> i don't have to color it anymore i'm not even recognizing my own voice right now this is funny <clears throat> in the summertime i feel like it's gonna lighten up from the sun too and kind of like maybe we'll see if it gives me like some sort of like natural kind of highlight look i do have an appointment in march with abby for coloring but i don't think i'm gonna do anything like that maybe i'll have her do like a little mini trim or if i get extensions maybe she can like help me show me like how to like put them in and stuff i don't know but i really don't want to like dye it because i like the color so why am i gonna mess with it anyways i'm rambling at this point i'll show you guys what i end up wearing it's probably not gonna be anything exciting because i'm just gonna worry about being warm and then we'll head off to the city i haven't been to a broadway show in a long time and i haven't seen my friend in a while so i feel like it's just gonna be a nice wholesome night hair and makeup done i feel like it looks pretty cute i use this new lip liner from makeup forever i never really use lip liner and i feel like it made my lips look really nice here it is it's the makeup forever artist color pencil they sent it in a pr package you can use it on your eyes on your lips this is in the shade 600 anywhere caffeine and i put like a lipstick and then a gloss on top but really pretty actually i should probably take it out and bring it with me huh okay um i'm gonna get dressed now i want to leave in like 10 ish minutes so hopefully we can do that it's time we need to dive deep into the drawer of winter things <laughs> i'm definitely gonna layer with some like fleece lined pants of sorts i think i'm gonna wear jeans so i'll probably just put these under a pair of jeans you know what i think i'm gonna do these tan pants and then like a black top and black black boots that was me being lazy and i broke a hanger good <laughs> let me get dressed let me figure this out hello i just filmed a short form video while i was getting dressed so that will be already up on my youtube channel if you want to see my outfit and how i layered but zane said i still look good i don't look like i kind of look like a big marshmallow with this jacket but this is my super puff that keeps me warm and like i think it's like negative 20 degrees or something like that so i'm like that's the jacket i'm wearing off we go Days of wine and roses. Hello, we are back home. I only got like a few little clips, I feel like, but it was so cold and also I was just catching up because we haven't seen each other in so long. So it was a really, really nice night. Dinner was so delicious. We did like a fixed menu and we shared everything. So we got like two different appetizers, two different entrees, two desserts, and um, it was absolutely phenomenal we got a nice skinny margarita it was so good show was not that good not gonna lie uh it was a little slow and then also i feel like there was the ending i'm like 
what was the point almost i was like this whole storyline and like i was like hmm what just happened you know but it's okay not every broadway show is gonna be amazing not every movie you know like not every book so bound to happen sometimes i bundled so good i was pretty warm on the train ride home i was actually hot i was like stripping down i was like i got home i was like i need like a seltzer like a refresher it was a really good night I had a lot of fun and now I'm getting into some PJs. I read a little bit so good, but on the way home I started bopping a little bit. It's time to get into some PJs and get ready for bed. Lots to do tomorrow, but it is 11.57. So if we get into bed within the next few minutes, take off this makeup, I'll probably knock right away. So I feel like we'll get a good amount of sleep. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Zane and I are down here doing a little tidying, a little workout, getting the day started. We got things to do today, so we need to be productive. I haven't been on this in a minute actually though. Every morning in Miami we spun on the bikes and it made me miss spinning. Like maybe I'll go back to a class. Orange theory right here is running, not spinning, right? It's um it's like a boot camp. It's like uh different stations. Oh okay. Some treadmill, some weights, some whatever. Isn't it nice? Got a little seat cushion over here. You're jealous? Nice. Looks appropriately sized. It's a big boy bike. You just gotta get some sneaks. This is fun too. It's got like the twisty knob for the gears. So that when you're in the middle of like the class, you're like, hey, good, put it up, put it down, put it up. I just do that one because I can sit up. This is like, you kind of have to lean forward. Yeah. Oh, hey, been a minute. Uh, got myself ready for the day. We just recorded the podcast and now I'm gonna have some lunch. So I'm gonna heat up a factor meal. Hi, Ben. <laughs> What do we want today? Ooh, garlic cream shredded pork or chipotle queso chicken. We're having chicken thighs for dinner, so I think I'm gonna do pork or Italian sausage. Let's see here, which one looks like something I want. Ooh, this has rice with it and green beans. This looks good, I'm gonna do this one. What a good boy, Benj. My goodness, this looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment. A little break and then we'll keep going all right i just spent the last little while working on my miami reel i did like a whole itinerary by the time you guys are seeing this though you've already seen the whole vlog too but if you want to see a shortened mini version of all the places we went that is readily available for you guys on instagram and tiktok now we are making some dinner we're doing some chicken thighs i have these already cut up carrots happy with myself that i prepared these the other day and we're gonna do some potatoes easy din i'm gonna treat myself to a nice little salsa look at this dinner we just chefed up are you kidding me i love a chicken thigh in the air fryer like mm, look at this you hear that lemon pepper seasoning that's all we put on it and it's Fire flames. Okay, we're gonna finally clean this closet room and unpack my suitcase. Let's get to it. Just kidding, I forgot I had therapy. Oh my God, I have to go on right now. Oh, 15 minutes late, I forgot. Well, I had big intentions to do this closet room. Totally forgot I had therapy. I had an alarm set on my phone, but my phone died. So my alarm never went off. And then I turned it on, I came in here to clean and 15 minutes past my appointment time and I looked down and I had a uh, text message from my therapist. Hey, are we still getting on? And I was like, I am so sorry. I ran upstairs. I was not prepared for therapy. I totally forgot that I had it. And funny enough, my therapist also, she had her own therapy appointment today and she forgot about hers. It was so weird. We've had so many like random connections like that where we just align on so many different things. I found her and I was like, she seems kind of cool. And then right after our first session, I was like, oh, she's perfect for me. She is the best therapist I've ever had and we crack up and we make such funny jokes and I was not prepared for today's session but it was one of the best therapy sessions I've ever had which is iconic. So I said all this already on my Instagram story so if you saw that you're hearing it again but if you've been debating starting therapy or going back to therapy whatever the case may be take this as your sign because it's amazing. Even if you're having a great time in life, it's so amazing to talk about it with someone because even when you're having a good week, they're a professional, so they pick up on little things that they're like, mm, you said that, let's dive deeper on that. And it's just, you just learn more about yourself and the way you operate and things like that and the way you handle things. And I just have already learned so much. So yes, highly recommend. It was a great session. And 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't get distracted scrolling on my phone for the last few hours upstairs after my session. I could have came back down here and cleaned this room, but we didn't. So tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good morning, happy Friday. We are up, we are dressed for the workout, but first we're gonna finally tackle this room. Speed clean, because we have so much to do today. Let's go. Okay, I do not know what is happening to me these last two days, but last night I forgot about my therapy. And then today I almost forgot that we have a meeting with our wedding planner. And this is so Alyssa of me, but I've been planning the whole wedding by myself. I guess I knew that our venue came with a wedding planner. I'm sure I knew that. I did. I don't know why I didn't like partake in that. So they emailed me like, hey, want to get your process started? Like they're like associated with my venue. Like it's included in our price. And so we're about to hop on this call, Zane and I, and I'm going to be like, well, I have all my major vendors booked already. I'm sure she's going to be able to help me with so much stuff, but I'm like, why didn't I take advantage of that? I don't know. I'm like, I knew we had like a day of coordinator and like a checklist. I don't know. Because when she emailed, I was like, I knew we had a wedding planner. Why didn't I use them? No idea, beats me. So we're about to hop on that call. But my closet room is clean. I just have to bring down my suitcase and all my packing cubes and everything. And I'm getting started editing today's vlog. And I just feel messy headed these last two days. I'm like forgetting things. It's very unlike me. I'm pretty like on top of my ish. So we need to get it together. Cause I keep like trying to do things that I'm like meaning to do and I keep like not getting to it. My time management has been a little off, but I think I'm just trying to get back and like the swing of things and back on my routine and stuff. So we'll get there, but we're gonna have this meeting now. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, how are you? Nice to talk to you and sound, hear your voice to the name. <laughs> I know, I know. I didn't know if it was gonna be like video chat or phone. <laughs> no, we do both, but sometimes just, I don't really have much to go over, so I figured that the phone would be fine. Quick and easy, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to really introduce myself awesome um and see where you're at um since we're in the year i know we still have about nine months but yeah you know it's, it's so fun <laughs> i know i know it's coming so fast <laughs> Exciting. You know what's so funny is I don't know I feel like I knew that we had a wedding planner included but I like it went over my head so I kind of have done a lot. <laughs> okay. Um so like I have DJ which was one of your recommended vendors. Okay, good. Um and then I have I got my dress ready, I have my photographer, I have my videographer. Who's the photographer? Um so her name is Monica Spangler. I've been working with her since like 2018. So okay. yeah. Um, so that's already done. Videographer, I would have to look at the name to be honest with you, but I did email Jalel, the videographer. Okay. Um, yeah, the last big thing I need is florals. I feel like that's the last like big vendor. Okay. Um, but I know um, you guys have recommendations that I just haven't had a chance to even look at. I'll okay. send you over some. Okay, perfect, perfect. Did you send out save the dates? I did, yes. That's exciting. Yeah, I know. And um, you're gonna do the ceremony on site? Correct, yeah. As outside I would like to, as long as the weather permits. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. October's like hit or miss. I know. Every year on our anniversary is always nice. So okay. fingers crossed it'll be the yeah, same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're still at like around eighty people and two kids? Yeah. I mean we'll see once the RSVPs come in, but it's a minimum of eighty, so maybe it might be like eighty five ish. We invited like a few more. Just, I'm okay. sure some people will say no, you know? And then we'll do your tasting around three months before. Okay, perfect. Um, so you typically we do like five out of the six salads and then like the filet mignon, the Madeira chicken, uh, the bronzino and the salmon. Mm -hmm. Just, and then we don't usually do a vegetarian and uh, we do one cake flavor. So like they'll pick one fill in at the chef just to see how 
the texture of the cake is and then you kind of pick yours okay awesome so you don't do like a full cake tasting right right but right i mean you, you know what the filling tastes like yeah it's okay because it, people even really eat it anyway <laughs> I know, I'm drunk. yeah exactly uh -huh. are you looking to do an after party or brunch or anything we already actually booked the after party oh okay sorry yeah no no that's fine yeah we're doing the after party in that little like pub Pub, yeah. yeah that you guys have yeah i think it's a 50 person one we did because i'm sure like the older yeah. people won't stay that's fine yeah okay and then you have security because you're a big social media girl like you oh yeah i'm so famous <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny i just wanted to take yeah the extra precaution of just have like the names of the guests and just after they're all in just like lock the door you know yeah that's good yeah uh, what's your Instagram, just so I could say? Um, it's Alyssa Rose, A-L-L-I-S-A-R-O-S-E. Okay. Yeah. That's exciting. I know. I like that stuff. Yeah. I just wanted to do it. I post stuff at, like, at restaurants. Everyone's like, you should go and do that. I'm like, I can't be bothered with that. If you have a full-time job, it's too much. It's too much with a full-time job. But it's fun. It's it like, is. I, I wish I could do that. It's not on my bucket list, maybe one day. Oh, yeah. Start, like, a food, a food <laughs> blog, a food page. Yeah. <laughs> but they have so many it's like a waste i know you feel like it's oversaturated yeah like they, everybody goes to the same tacos or the same <laughs> fire it's so true i know um do you have any other questions um so like basically you'll help me like with the florist like would you like reach out on my behalf like how involved would you get with everything um I get involved once it's booked, but I'm basically okay. a vendor planner. So okay. I, I coordinate the, everything you book with the vendor, make sure, get their insurance, make so what time they're coming. Okay. Their like, call them to make sure the photographer's here, the flowers are on the table, make sure they come at the end to take the flowers. Okay. So I'm not, like, a, a, a wedding planner, like, personal. Like, I wouldn't go and to your house or anything right but right I right do everything on the venue side okay perfect so i'll just like send over everything that we've booked and then you can yeah, like coordinate good. okay perfect oh that's good that's helpful so we'll get timing and then t once you come for the tasting we'll, we'll talk and we'll do the timeline and everything and what time you get your hair done okay and then yeah i have hair and makeup artists too already okay you're, you're good yeah <laughs> i'm like trying to get like the big things done so that like once it gets closer i feel like we have to focus on like the signage and all that you know so you guys include um like the name plate like what is included in like like the paper goods so we do the menus okay perfect um and that's really it okay As, unless you we don't do the seating but i could put it out for you so if you order i don't know if you want to do like a mirror or you could do cards i actually have like this idea i don't know if it's gonna come to life but yeah i like that yeah so i think i might do something like that Okay, yeah, we have yeah. a space for, like, right when you end up at the yes. place that'll look cute there. Yes, that's what I was thinking, too. And then maybe, like, like a cocktail menu, like, we could put on the bar, like, our specialty cocktails. Yeah, so cute. I could do, like, something simple for you, but we don't really have the frame. So if you wanted to go to, like, Home Goods or something, yeah. Because um, I have Canva here, so we could do I could do things with that. Okay. To incorporate the pets. Yeah, I thought that would be cute. <laughs> okay, so I I guess I'll look through. You guys sent me that checklist a while ago when we first booked. Yeah. So I'll look through that and the chairs that you guys have. They're just like a silver chair, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So, I can send you a picture if you want. Yeah, that would be great. Cause okay. maybe I might want to rent different ones. You have like recommendations for like a rental place. Yes. Okay. And then we only have the one linen that we use, the, the traditional white. That's fine. I want to do like okay. neutrals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just might want to do like maybe like a wood, like a more of like a wood kind of chair to okay. add some like warmth to the room, you know, so it's not so like gray and white. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll see what we have as far as the vendors and I'll, I'll send you a recap email. Okay. Yeah. I'm not like super set on that, but I just want to like play with the idea. Yeah, but they'll help you too. They'll give you ideas. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. It was nice to chatting with you. Okay. You too. We'll keep up on email. Yes. Yeah, All right. Okay, great. Have Thank great you. Weekend. You too. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> it was literally nine minutes. That was the most Long Island. Have you, did you hear her? Yeah, towards the end. Oh, it's snowing. She was like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you. Don't worry. We'll do the tasting. Okay, cool. So basically, we were doing fine. We ch we do the vendors, and then she, like, reaches out and gets their insurance and all that and, like, coordinates times with them. Perfect. Yeah. She's like, who's your photographer? Who's your photographer? Okay. Well, that was fun. Now we're editing today's vlog. I actually got a decent amount of footage from my sister's bachelor trip. I didn't even realize coming out cute. There is a pretty staunch headwind uh, as we head. We'll update you on all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. 
I am nearing the end of editing, which is iconic. Zane just ran out, got a nice fresh hair cut, and he went to Lidl. Got a lot of nice goodies. Yeah, he's gonna start um, being the chef around here, I've heard, word on the street. I don't know what word you're hearing, girl. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I got you a pies. You did? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, thanks. Oh my god, nice. Thanks, B. Give us All a right, little so haul, would ya? Some lettuce. We're gonna get back on our salad grind. Oh. They didn't have the other ones. Damn it. The other ones are better, they were sold out. They, they were right taste, next to them. They taste better, I think. For sure. Yeah. These definitely taste like healthy. <gasps> the Our favorites. Meats. Yum. I'm setting it up so I can take a thumbnail when okay. you're done. <laughs> Now I got this. Oh, this is, is that? basic. It's beef top sirloin. Mm. We're kind of spoiled. We're used to the ribeyes, but like I think you yeah. can chop this up and then you dress it in like a sauce and stuff. And yeah. It'll be solid. Nice. Um, thin. <laughs> the rag out of here. Potatoes. Staple. Nice. Yellow potatoes. I'm trying to make this work for you. Thank you. How nice of you. Light sour cream. Yeah. Bang. Question. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between grape and cherry tomatoes? I don't think so. Okay. Because the ones that said cherry mm. were like $3 extra. Oh. And then I saw this and I was like, no, that's fine. They look the same. Just a little baby one. <laughs> little baby one. Oh, I didn't even ask for those. Garbanzo <gasps> beans. Oh, you got chickpeas. Sweet peas. More peas. <gasps> More? Why did you get so many? Peas? Because they were 60 cents and like. Oh, yeah. I feel Mine like. Is we'll, More? <laughs> we'll crush a can in like a night, no? no? That's so true. I could eat a can by the spoonful. Literally, I used yeah, to when I was younger. Open them up. And just eat them cold. These are like my favorite. I want to try those more. So I got two cans. Yeah. Definitely cook with those. Deli meat. Some deli meat. Blackberries. Oh. Greek yogurt. Oh. For breakfast. Because like literally today I wanted something light. Right. Pierogies. Perfect. Eggs. <gasps> Baby. There's like two missing. You didn't check the eggs. There's what the hell? So I got egg whites too. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Bananas, crema, and then this is the last one. Oh, oh my god. I had to do the seltzers. Lots of seltzer. Staple spinach. Yum. More asparagus. Oh. We double up in asparagus in the castle. In this house, we eat asparagus. Ooh. Okay. Arugula. Wow. And onions. Oh, those are a little sad. They're very sad. Those are bad, babe. What happened? Bad? They didn't have- They're selling bad products? <laughs> Look at it. They're supposed mean? to be I... hard and crunchy. They're like- so Really? Bad. I thought they're always like this. No. <laughs> My bad. Corn Cornstarch? Starch? You said corn flour. Yeah, I think the guy meant corn starch. Because corn flour doesn't make sense. Corn flour is to make like corn tortillas. And that's what, yeah, that's not what I'm making. You want to make something like thicker. Yeah. Yes, and that's or what coat he, something. I think he just called it corn flour, but it's, it's corn starch. He's British. Do, I don't know if they call it. <gasps> oh, maybe. Maybe they call it corn flour in, in the UK. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, when he used it, it was for thickening. So yeah, that's corn common starch. sense. You know what there I'm saying? Like, wow. Wait a minute. Black beans. Black beans. More can't believe we're running Ooh, out. I'm like excited to cook now. Avocados. Avocados. I'm just going. Ooh. Ooh. Part of why I gravitated towards these, they were on sale. Okay. Two dollars for the whole bag. Wow. I was like, what? Uh -huh. And she rung it up and it was five dollars. That's fine. Ooh, onion. onion. Paprika. Paprika. I think that's it. Wow, good job. I'm and excited guess to what? cook. Guess what? All of this? Eighty-two dollars. Oh. Ninety-five. One oh two. <laughs> One fifteen. Oh, I thought this was good. <laughs> oh. It was 120. Damn, I thought I did good. You did good though. I'm excited to cook. Zane's cooking tonight and it's a surprise. I'm excited to see that. We could do our fresh pasta. Listen, a lot of fresh stuff or like quote unquote healthy stuff mm -hmm. is so cheap. Yes. Like I know these are canned, but regardless, like black yeah. beans, chickpeas, sweet peas, all, all like 60 good to cents. have. Yeah. My blackberries were like, they, they were on sale two for four. Oh, that's two awesome. Two for four. This was like 95 cents. Yeah, bananas are so cheap. Dude, they're amazing. We could do my grape tomato pasta with spinach. Fresh pasta. Oh yeah, it's a good recipe. Cool. Cool, thanks. Good job. Oh! <laughs> that was so cute. What a mooch. And even after all that, <laughs> I'm gonna have some factor for lunch because we need to finish working. What do we want? What's tonight? 
chicken. Chicken tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna have this Italian sausage one. This has inspired an impromptu fridge clean out. We're reorganizing, getting rid of anything that's bad. I wanna use it somehow. I got it for New Year's, but I don't want it to just go bad. I feel like I can make like a pasta sauce out of it or something, like heat it up, like caramelized onion or on a burger. I could do something with that. Did you find them? Oh no, see if they're on the receipt. They are. They are? What happened? What happened? I think I left them on the uh, subject. Baby! <gasps> he bought that? apples and he left them there. Oh no. I'm so looking forward to them. Oh, I'll go back if I was you. Mmm. <laughs> again. Dude, what the heck? I thought I trained you right. I'm disappointed. I want the same, man. I got with that. Um, I don't know. Should have thrown it. Okay, um, should I close this or you want to still keep it open? Oh. <laughs> I'm dead, you guys. I'm going to put the peas away. Already have three cans. <laughs> Welcome to Pea World. <laughs> this was not my doing. This was Zane's. <laughs> we have seven cans. Seven cans of peas. Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna actually line them all up over here. I can put other stuff there. That is so hilarious. Actually, wait. The ones that are sitting in the front should go in the front because they'll expire first. Okay, now we have a spot for our chickpeas. Okay. <laughs> All right, groceries are put away, fresh garbage, dishwasher's going. This factor meal is delicious. I'm gonna wrap up work while I eat. Hi! What? No way. I can't hear you. You're so tiny and small. All right, I got my vlog up, got a nice workout in, got the Australian Open on, and Zane's making dinner tonight. He's in charge. A YouTube short he's following. It's like chicken, potatoes. I'm excited. Your girl is gonna take advantage of Zane cooking dinner tonight <laughs> and get my nice exfoliating shower in while he's cooking. That way I can tan tonight, be done for the night, have a nice dinner. Sign me up. Wow, got some potatoes and peppers and onions and chicken and ranch. Yum. Thanks, babe. It's always a pleasure. So nice not having to cook. Belly, is it bedtime? This is how I feel right now. So bean. I got myself tanner on, I'm soaking, and I'm in bed. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. I feel like I've been filming for so many days, and I'm gonna pick right back up with another vlog tomorrow. We're gonna have a fun weekend. I'm excited, so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Forget, let's remind them, be my right.